So I'm considering ideas for my future workshop, and I would like to ask you some questions. So first of all, I wanted to show you what I'm working with here. So I've got this hill back here in the back, and so it's fairly flat down here, about uh, 15 feet from the house, so I want to have at least 5 feet here um, between that I can walk around him. So I'm going to dig out this hill some and put in a wall and back here on this back corner I'm going to assume that this is somewhere around uh, three and a half feet at this rock which is where the back corner of the building will be so I want to come out you know a few more feet just looking at a four foot wall back here that'll uh, be a retaining wall so since it's raining out here Let's go inside and I will show you um, my plans so far on the computer and I would love for your input uh, for changes that need to be made. So let's head in. I've loaded up my 3D program and I've got just this picture to kind of give us an idea of what we're dealing with in the back of the house here. So uh, first of all, I want to turn on the wall idea. So, of course, there'll be a lot more detail to this than just uh, what I've got here. But So, from where this rock is right here, this wall will cut in and then also go back this way a little bit and uh, just flatten out all of this. So, my first thoughts are toss this dirt up the hill so that later on I can backfill and anything that is left over I can then use in the front of the house um, just as landscaping purposes. So on the wall it's gonna have that uh, black uh, plastic, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's called but it's got the it's a membrane that kind of lets water uh, vapor pass through. That's gonna be along the edge of the wall and then there's gonna be a pipe under here for drainage and that will be on both sides. Now uh, I've never really built this kind of wall before so it's gonna be out of concrete block and should I um, pour a concrete slab down here first or should I just dig down deep enough and just start laying block so that's one of my first questions and then uh, let's see I think I'm gonna put gravel around here and then backfill with dirt so that's the idea with the wall but uh, we'll get more into that later so next I want to turn on this so I'm thinking since my building is going to be a 10 foot by 20 foot that I'm gonna to have to have this many uh, supports or piers or whatever they're called so the thought is once this wall is put in and this ground is fairly level use post hole diggers to dig these 12 um, holes here now I'm pretty sure that the frost line in my area is only four inches so at least that's what the um, the county paperwork said so I'm guessing if I went down as little as say a foot um, or foot and a half I'd be okay so anyway um, foot and a half two foot for these now I'm considering using those um, tubes um, concrete tubes that you um, can pour concrete into the middle and then I think these are strong time and they're kind of expensive like eight to twenty dollars a piece so I would need twelve of those so um, if you have any thoughts on the, uh, the concrete and the strong tie pieces now I'm guessing that you can just kind of you know set them in the concrete and they go down however far they're supposed to go but uh, okay so moving on the idea is to put in kind of a structure um, that will hold up the workshop. So these would be six by sixes um, cut to, yeah, it, I guess it depends on how high these are uh, out of the ground here. So it could be that uh, this is only, you know, a 10 inch long piece. But so the thought is. Um, to cut this notch out, um, of course, you know the six by six sits in this strong tie metal, so there's never any um, ground to wood contact. 
But anyway, this notch um, that's cut would allow for these boards to um, rest in here and be um, anchored down appropriately. So there would be four of those, and then all of these, uh, I guess, just uh, two by fours. Because um, see, I've got a bunch of two by eights, two by sixes, and two by fours. And so I'm thinking these just would be uh, cross ties here to hold everything together. But um, okay, yeah, so that's what I've got so far. And of course, on top of these is where the frame of the workshop would begin. Now I want to have a, a double front door here that I'm going to build myself with a ramp. So I really don't want these um, too high. So I mean, if you're coming back here to the picture, you know, if I could have this thing less than a foot and a half tall um, from like here to here would be awesome. I mean, if it needs to be two foot, great, you know, whatever. But um, just to make that ramp as uh, less steep as possible. And also, back here on the back side of the building, so right here, I want to have just a single door that could be used to get to the back of the house. I definitely would enjoy some feedback on this uh, planning process. So if you know much about building walls or digging footers, I definitely want to hear from you. Uh, of course, I don't have tons of money, so this project's going to be kind of an ongoing one for the next few months. But I want to do this right, so that's why I'm asking for your help. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.